Northern Nevada houses one of the most geologically fascinating regions in the United States, where the basin and range extends across vast expanses of arid and mountainous territory. This remote area near the Oregon border holds volcanic secrets from 16 million years ago, when intense magmatic activities shaped the landscape we see today. The McDermott Volcanic Field, located in Humboldt County, represents one of the country's least known supervolcanic systems, remaining dormant for entire geological eras. In recent weeks, something extraordinary began happening in this seemingly quiet region. More than 40 earthquakes shook the ground near the small community of Valmy, awakening the attention of scientists and local residents. These seismic events are not isolated. They are part of a concerning pattern that has intensified over the past seven days, raising questions about what is really happening in the depths of the Earth's crust. Tuesday brought new disturbing episodes when two significant earthquakes with magnitudes of 3.7 and 3.2 struck the region around 9.30 in the morning. These tremors occurred just 31 miles, 50 kilometers, from the ancient supervolcano, a proximity that cannot be ignored by volcanology experts. The temporal and geographical coincidence of these seismic events is generating intense debates in the international scientific community. What makes this situation even more intriguing is the fact that northern Nevada is recognized as one of the most tectonically active areas in the United States, surpassing even famous California in seismic activity. Multiple fault lines cut through the territory, including the Dixie Valley Fault, the Fairview Peak Fault, and the Central Nevada Seismic Belt, creating a complex network of geological tensions that can interact in unpredictable ways. While authorities try to understand whether these seismic swarms represent only normal tectonic movement or something more significant, one question remains in the air. Could the McDermott supervolcano be showing the first signs of awakening after millions of years of dormancy? The answer to this question may have implications that go far beyond Nevada's borders. The United States Geological Survey recorded an impressive sequence of seismic activity that has drawn international attention. Between last Saturday and Monday, 28 distinct earthquakes struck northern Nevada, with the most significant event reaching magnitude 4.8 during a particularly intense seismic swarm. This concentration of tremors in such a short period represents an anomalous pattern that deserves thorough investigation especially considering the proximity to ancient volcanic systems. Seismology experts explain that earthquake swarms generally indicate underground fluid movement or large-scale tectonic adjustments. When multiple seismic events occur in rapid sequence within a geographically restricted area, this suggests that deep forces are redistributing tensions accumulated over decades or centuries. In Nevada's specific case, this activity is occurring within the Basin and Range Province, a region where the Earth's crust is gradually expanding and fragmenting. The community of Valmy, although small, serves as a crucial reference point for monitoring this seismic activity. Strategically located along several important fault lines, this area has experienced tremors that, while not causing significant structural damage, are clearly perceptible to local residents. Earthquakes between magnitude 3 and 5 frequently produce notable shaking, especially when they occur at relatively shallow depths in the Earth's crust. What most intrigues researchers is the persistence of these seismic events throughout an entire week. Normally, earthquake swarms tend to gradually diminish after a few days, but the activity in Nevada has maintained consistent intensity, suggesting that the causative forces are still actively influencing the region. This persistence raises questions about whether we are witnessing a long-term geological process that may continue for weeks or even months. But there is something even more fascinating hidden in this story. The proximity of these events to one of North America's least studied supervolcanoes. While Yellowstone receives constant attention from the media and scientific community, the McDermott volcanic field remains relatively unknown to the general public, despite its impressive geological history and potential for future activity. The McDermott volcanic field represents an extraordinary chapter in North America's geological history, formed during a period of intense magmatic activity 16 million years ago. During this volcanic era, massive quantities of molten rock emerged from the Earth's depths, creating eruptions that permanently shaped the regional landscape. The result of this ancient activity was the formation of an impressive caldera, a basin-shaped structure that today serves as silent testimony to the destructive and creative power of volcanic processes. Over millions of years, erosion and other geological changes sculpted this caldera, creating the rugged landscape that characterizes the region today. 
The caldera's remnants are still clearly visible to trained observers, forming a natural depression that resembles a gigantic bowl carved into the rock. This geological formation, although ancient, maintains characteristics that allow scientists to reconstruct the cataclysmic events that occurred during its creation. The location of the McDermott supervolcano is no coincidence. This region is part of the complex geological system known as the Pacific Ring of Fire, a network of volcanic and seismic activity that surrounds the Pacific Ocean. Although Nevada is not directly on the coast, the tectonic forces that drive the system extend deep into the continental interior. The interaction between tectonic plates, underground hotspots, and crustal weakness zones creates conditions that can reactivate apparently extinct volcanic systems. Scientists from the American Geological Survey have carefully monitored active and potentially active volcanoes throughout the country, but McDermott does not appear on official lists of systems requiring constant surveillance. This classification is based on the absence of recorded volcanic activity since its original formation, leading many experts to consider it an extinct or deeply dormant volcanic system. However, the proximity of recent seismic swarms is forcing a reassessment of this position. What makes the current situation particularly intriguing is that even well-monitored supervolcanoes like Yellowstone occasionally surprise scientists with unexpected activities. Minor phreatic explosions, which are steam eruptions caused by heating of underground water, can occur without prior warning, creating new geological formations that are only discovered later. If intensely monitored systems can produce surprises, a less observed supervolcano like McDermott certainly deserves renewed attention. Current scientific assessment of the McDermott volcanic field suggests that the probability of an imminent eruption remains extremely low, according to recent analyses by volcanology experts. Researchers emphasize that typical signs of volcanic reactivation have not been detected, such as ground elevation, increased underground temperatures, or appearance of fumaroles, indicators that normally precede eruptive activity. The absence of these phenomena leads the scientific community to interpret recent seismic swarms as the result of purely tectonic processes. The most accepted explanation for current seismic activity is related to the expansive nature of the basin and range province, where the Earth's crust is gradually stretching and fragmenting along hundreds of fault lines. This continuous geological process, occurring for millions of years, results in the elevation of mountainous blocks in some areas while other sections sink forming basins. This tectonic dynamic makes the region one of the most seismically active in the United States, naturally explaining the observed tremor patterns. NASA experts reinforce this interpretation, highlighting that seismic activity in Nevada primarily reflects movement along established fault systems, not movement of underground magma chambers. This distinction is crucial for understanding that not all seismic activity near volcanoes indicates imminent volcanic reactivation. Continuous monitoring of this region will allow scientists to distinguish between normal fluctuations in tectonic activity and possible signs of more significant changes. Although internet speculation suggests that Nevada's seismic swarms could trigger larger earthquakes in California, this direct connection lacks solid scientific evidence. While seismic waves can travel great distances and potentially influence distant fault systems, current events in Nevada do not possess sufficient magnitude to significantly affect the San Andreas Fault. California has its own independent seismic cycles that depend on local geological factors much more than activity in neighboring states. The most important lesson from this situation is the need to maintain balanced scientific vigilance, neither unnecessary paranoia nor dangerous complacency. Northern Nevada will continue being a seismically active region due to its fundamental geological characteristics, and episodes like this will likely repeat in the future. Understanding and accepting this geological reality while maintaining adequate monitoring systems represents the wisest approach to coexist with the natural forces that shape our planet. Subscribe to the channel to follow more analyses about fascinating geological phenomena happening around the world, because Earth never stops surprising us with its complex and powerful dynamics.